Hello everyone and welcome to Learn Tech. In this video I'll show to you guys how you can fix the problem that you may have with a start menu. For example, start menu is not opening in this case. Even that I click over it, nothing happens. The start menu is not opening. The steps that I will do are applied on Windows 11, but they are pretty much the same on Windows 10. The first thing that you may want to do is to open Task Manager. So we just search here Task Manager or you press Ctrl Alt Delete and then you open Task Manager. I have done another video which explains many other ways how to open Task Manager and the link you can find on the description below. Once you have opened Task Manager, you want to go over Windows Explorer here and then you click with the right of the mouse and then you choose Restart. So this will restart the Windows Explorer and there are high chances that your Start menu will work again. Another way how to restart Explorer is to run a new task. So we just click over this button here, Run New Task. And here we write explorer.exe and then we press over OK and this will rerun once again Windows Explorer. It looks like this trick didn't fix my problem. And now the next step that we want to try is to open PowerShell and there we write a code which I'm going to show to you. So we just search here Windows PowerShell. Once you see Windows PowerShell, you click over it with the right of the mouse and then you choose Run as Administrator. So it's very important that you run this as administrator. Do you want to allow this app to make changes to your device? Yes. Now the code that we are going to run here is this one. I'll put on the description below. So you just copy and paste it on the PowerShell. So you, in order to paste it, you click with the right of the mouse over here. And here we are. It's pasted here and then you press enter. So now let's try it if it will work. Good. So this step just fixed my problem. So just try this command on your Windows PowerShell. It's complicated, so you just have to copy and paste it from the description below and then you put it over here. So here we are. Now my start menu is working. If your start menu is having issues after you did an update of your PC, then you may want to uninstall the latest update and then you check it if this will fix your problem. In order to uninstall the update, we need to go at settings. So we just type over here settings. And once you see settings, you click over it in order to open. Then from the options on the left, we click over Windows Update. And now we choose Update History over here. And now we scroll down till the end where we find Uninstall Updates. We click over here. And here we can see the latest updates that have been installed on my PC. As we can see, this was installed on 4 October and in order to uninstall it, we just click over here, uninstall, and then the process of uninstalling this update will start and it's pretty easy. There is another video where I have explained in more details how to uninstall updates and you can find the link on the description. If this problem didn't happen because you just installed the update, then you may want to try to update your PC. As we can see in my case, there is an update which is pending to be installed. You can try to update it and then you check if your start menu is working after that. Another thing that you may want to try is a very simple step, which is just restarting your PC. But unfortunately, sometimes you cannot restart it since your start menu is not working to go and to restart it. So we're going to use CMD in order to restart your PC. So we just go at search and we type here CMD. And once you see command prompt or CMD, you click with the right of the mouse over it. And then you choose run as administrator. Do you want to allow this app to make changes to your device? Yes. And now we write this command shut down anti slash R. So shut down anti slash R and then we press enter and this will restart your PC. The PC will restart in a couple of seconds, so it will give you the chance to close your programs that you are running at this time. Sometimes this simple step like restarting your PC can fix many issues, including in this case, your start menu. If neither of these steps didn't fix your problem, then 
we, you may need to try to log in with another user. I have done another video which explains how you can create a new user and once you have created your new user, you try to log in with this other user and see if the problem is showing also in that user. Now the last step that I would recommend is to reset your PC. In order to reset your PC, you need to open settings and for that, once again, we go at search and we type here settings. Once you see the app settings, you click over it in order to open. And then from the options on the left, you just stay at system. And then from the options that you will have on the right, you need to find recovery. We click over here. And now we have two very important options. One of them is resetting this PC. And the other one is advanced startup. Restart your device to change startup settings, including starting from a disk or USB drive, etc. etc. By running your PC on an advanced startup will give you the chance to troubleshoot some of the issues that you may have on your PC, including the start menu. But I would recommend that before doing that, resetting the PC should solve this kind of problem because you are going to keep your files, but your Windows will be reinstalled. So we click over reset PC and now we'll have two options. One of them is keep my files, which will remove your apps and settings, but will keep your personal files. So whatever files you have on your PC will be there, but unfortunately your applications will be removed from your computer. You choose this and then you'll have two options, cloud download or local reinstall. I would suggest to try cloud download because it will be downloaded the latest version of Windows from the cloud and it will be reinstalled. But I'm not going to reinstall Windows because obviously, like you saw, I fixed my problem by just writing that command on PowerShell. So this is the last method that you can try to fix this kind of problem with your start menu. There are on the internet many other options, but I have found those options that I showed to you really very useful and those methods have helped me fix many cases like this during my working day as a system administrator. That's all that I wanted to show to you guys. I hope that at least one of these methods helped you to fix this problem. And please leave on the comments below which one of this method helped you to fix the problem. And if there is another method, please share it with us so we can help also the other users. Thanks a lot for watching this video and please consider subscribing to our channel where you can find amazing videos which are related with Windows 11 and Windows 10, but not only. We upload time by time also different solutions for different problems that you may have during your working day with the computers and the softwares. Thank you.